We want to calculate the amount of heat absorbed when 15.5 grams of ice cubes melts at 0 degrees Celsius. So for this problem, since I'm looking at heat absorbed, I know that I'm also looking at a phase change because when ice melts, it becomes a liquid. So I'm looking at the heat of fusion. So I've attached this chart over here on the right hand side. You probably have something similar in your own textbook that you can use as well. So what are the key parts of this? Well, I've got 15.5 grams. The ice tells me that it's water and then it tells me where it melts. So if you remember, if you have no idea where to start, what's always the first thing you do? You write down the given. So the given is 15.5 grams of ice, which is water. Now remember, if you don't know what to do, what's the first thing you always convert to? Moles. So in one mole of H2O is how much? How much does that weigh? Well, we go to the periodic table and we find 18.02 grams of water. Now has that, have we made any progress? Well, sure, because now the grams cancel, so I'm left with moles. But I don't want moles of water, I want heat. And remember, heat is in kilojoules. So the only thing that I haven't used is the heat of fusion over here on the right hand side. Now I want it for water, so I see that it's this number here, this 6.02 kilojoules per mole. Well, it just so happens that I need the mole on the bottom, so I've got 6.02 kilojoules per one mole. Again, remember, anything over itself is one, so the moles are going to cancel. I need heat, which is kilojoules, so that's what I'm left with. So I'm going to do the calculation in my calculator, and I come out with 5.178135. But how many significant figures do I need? Well, I go back to the original problem. It says I need 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. I look at the number to the right. It tells me I'm going to round up, so my answer should be 5.18 kilojoules.